Hello, Drone Racers. I'm Mark, and today on Drone Racer 101, we're going to update the EV200D goggles. One of the things that I've been impressed with is they've already come up with a firmware upgrade to fix the DVR. Now, I've already done the upgrade. Spoilers, they, they didn't totally fix it. They made it better. It's a step in the right direction. So I'm hoping if they did this fix, they're going to do more. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do the update, where to get the firmware. I'll show you what difference this first firmware made, and hopefully they make more because that was the only problem I've had with these. They look great. They have a great size. The video looks great. The DVR just has some issues it's just not quite right so first here I'm going to show you how to check your current firmware and then we'll go through and update it and then we'll look at a comparison of the before and after to see what kind of a difference this first firmware upgrade made okay before you upgrade the firmware I would check and see what firmware you've got on it and there's a pretty easy process to do that but it's kind of weird one thing I want to know is you can't go into the DVR menu if you don't have an SD card in it so I had popped the card out and put it in my computer to put the file on it that I wanted to check my version and it wouldn't work and that was because I didn't have an SD card in it so grab a blank card or don't have the upgrade files on it when you check this or else it will go ahead and upgrade and it's too late so hold down the DVR button like you're going to start a DVR recording until it beeps that will activate the DVR option then you hold right and you hold right until it beeps this will take you into the DVR menu. Then you hold left, which I believe this takes you into the playback menu. It's all a little convoluted, but you can get it. So there we go, there's that. And now you click right to go into the options menu. Now in the options menu, you go down to settings and click, and then that will show you the current version running on your goggles. Now this version here is the original shipping version. This is the version that shipped uh, from the factory before there were any upgrades at all. So next we need to actually go through and do upgrades. So for now the firmware is just on Banggood's website. I'll link it down below so you can go straight to it and maybe if we do a good job we'll get added to the top of this page here. So right now it says to solve the problem with overexposure. That's the problem most people have had flying outside the video the DVR could be overexposed I didn't really notice it too bad that wasn't the biggest issue I had but it's stored here on a Google Drive location you can click this and it will open up it is a .rar file here so you'll want to download this depending on exactly how your computer is set up I can click download here download it to a local file so this comes as a .rar file if you don't have any way to extract this um, I use a free program called 7-zip and I can open this archive and then I save the file right here. So it comes with two bin files and then the instruction manual. And the instructions are actually pretty good. So basically all you have to do is take out the SD card and put the SD card V, SD card DV dot bin file on the root. Then you take your SD card, you put it back in the goggles and turn them on. Okay, now I'm gonna plug in the power and see what happens. Lots of beeping. Well, that was unpleasant. So we'll turn it back on and if that worked, it won't beep again. It will just boot just like normal because it will actually delete the file if it upgraded successfully. So it didn't beep again. That means we upgraded. So I'm gonna go in and check the version again just to be sure. Yep, that is the upgraded version. So now I'm gonna see if it makes any difference at all. Okay, so mine worked properly. If it didn't work, upgrading failure. So something happened, you ran out of batteries or the card popped out or whatnot. You wanna power off the goggles and then put both of these files on there. So in this case, you wanna basically hold down like you're gonna start the DVR and it will start beeping and go from there. Then we check the version the same way that we did starting out. So here's one of the problems I have with the DVR. If I go to edit in Premiere and I go and play the video here, so you'll notice my clock is not moving. My, my clock that I used to record it, and I recorded 10 minutes of video just to see what would happen, how well it would sync up. It was still two seconds off when I was done, but if I put my videos in to edit them, they, they just don't work. What I have to do is I reprocess them in Handbrake, and then they start working. So after I basically reformat the files, then they work. But the native files do not work here. 
So here's what it looked like before the upgrade with the original. I did a 10 minute countdown and then here is the after. These are two totally different time frames. But you see the color got much darker, much richer. If you're flying outside in the sun, that's where it was very overexposed and this corrects that for you. It does make it very dark for inside flying, but it does make it, it makes it a deep color. Look at the how the red looks here. The red is very dark and rich and red. Here it's just kind of bright and shiny. So it's up to you with what's right, what's wrong for you. Uh, a lot of people did have problems with it being wrong outside and this with the change will definitely help, but it didn't fix my problems. So here I did what I'm going to call an unsuccessful test because one of the problems I had with the DVR is it got out of sync with my audio and that didn't happen here. I recorded 10 minutes of video. I had set 10 minutes on my timer and if I go to the end here it's well it's 9.59. That's, I'll, I'll give it that. That's close enough. But when I was out flying my DVR didn't sync up that well. It did not stay in line with my audio which was a problem. In this video, the way I'm doing it, recording a timer, I'm just going to say this isn't a good test because a variable bitrate, there's not enough going on. Um, for regular flying, the action got off more. But that hasn't been fixed though with this patch. So I'm hoping though the next one they just make an overall improvement to that portion of it because I really like these goggles, but I need the DVR to be better in order to do multiple reviews. So there you go. I do like these goggles. I think they look great. I love the size of the screen, but I'm still hoping they keep improving the DVR. I'm very hopeful since they did do one upgrade that they'll do more and then continue to improve these because I think a lot of people are going to be really happy with these. Long term, we don't know how... Long term, we don't know what the quality is going to be yet. I mean, they're, they're brand new. We don't know what the support level is going to be. So those are things I keep in mind for these also. But the screen size, like I said, I just love it. I like the look of them a lot. And I do love, even though I don't have it hooked up right now, the quad diversity. But if you found this useful, leave a like and a comment down below and let me know. What, what are your go-to goggles right now? For the $300 price range, what is most important to you? I've asked this before, but it's really important. I really want to know because everybody asks me which goggles I recommend, and it varies a lot. They're such a personal choice, so I still want to know what everybody thinks the most important thing. To me, warranty is a really big deal, which is way fat shark, but nobody mentions that very often. So until next time, remember, I actually had these on when I did my intro. Okay, so there's my camera that I'm using to record, and there's me. So if I hold this here, I can see, oh man, it's okay, this is freaky. There's self view, look at, look at the shine, where's a hat? Do I have a hat here? There we go. Uh, 